page Leanne also known as I Heart page and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications and let's get this started okay y'all so I've literally been wearing my hair in buns since I took out my mini twists I know y'all and after I did that Shea Bay DIY Shea Bay deep condition if you haven't went and checked out that video definitely go and check that out I'm gonna put that in one of these corners so y'all can go and see that as well in the description box but my hair held moisture for so long like can we talk about how long my hair felt moisturized and was moisturized and I didn't have to do anything to it to the point where I've just been like Slicking it back in buns. That's it. I refresh in my edges and like, let's go. I'm I'm ready. But now I'm just feeling like it's starting to get dry. I'm feeling like it's time to give it some TLC. It's been about a week, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, I think about a week, week and a half. Not two weeks. It hasn't been two weeks, y'all. I haven't been that lazy. But um, yeah, I feel like it's time. So y'all know if y'all don't know. I had been using and have been using the Le Lester's Pink Lester's Pink um, <laughs> Moisturizer, and I've been using this stuff legit since I've been a kid. I was using it even when my hair was relaxed, damaged, all of that stuff. It wasn't the cause for my hair being damaged. If you've been following me, you know I've had a lot of other reasons: heat damage chemical damage, all that stuff. I'm over it. I'm finally to a natural state, healthy hair, but I've been using this. This is actually all gone. I probably have like a little bit left in there, but this one is the classic light one. It says about restoring the hair, has jojoba oil, restores natural luster and shine, aloe vera, nourishing for silky soft hair. I used it up. So, I ended up having to go and get another one. This is the new one. So, this is the new and approved one that they have out now. And I wasn't aware that it is different. So, it's really the original one. It doesn't say light like this one. As well, you can tell the bottle is way different. Way different. So, um, yeah. I was like... I'm going to give it a try. I mean, it can't be too much different. The smell is different. Not saying it's a bad thing. It's actually a lighter smell than this one. This one reminds me of the one back in the day. It has the same exact smell. So, definitely something's different with this one because it doesn't have that original back in the day old school smell. It doesn't. Um, as well, I see it says about vitamin E, pro-vitamin B5, revives damaged hair, protects, and conditions. We need all that. Even if your hair isn't damaged, like, we need it. Bring it on. So, I'm going to go see what this is about. I'm going to take my hair out, bun. Y'all beware. <laughs> Y'all beware. It's coming down. It's coming down. I have one of those big hair ties on right now. Actually, like, a hairband, so for like puffs and stuff. So that's why it took me so long to get it out. But my hair is still clean. That's the good thing. My scalp is still clean. I haven't been using too much edge control. So as you can tell, my edges, they're clean. I've really been using just my aloe vera water and I've been using my oil and that's it to slick down my edges. So I've been going more the natural way rather than using Eco Styler and a lot of gels because I didn't want to get my hair all back dirty and having to wash it. So yeah, y'all, this is what we're working with. <laughs> my hair is dry, like honey, it's dry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just section off. I may do six sections. <clears throat> Just so I can really focus on working this in. So I wonder if it's a difference is what I'm wondering. Or if it's going to be the same as the one I've been using. Not terrible. It's been drier before, but yeah, it's dry. 
So, I'll start off with my aloe vera water. Because if y'all don't know, well now y'all know, I've been back using my aloe vera water. I'm so proud of myself. Because I have a big container in the refrigerator, like a big jug. And I had stopped using it for a while and was just using water, but... I'm back using it. It feels really good to my hair. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna finger this angle, get off any dead hair. Since I haven't even been detangling my hair, I've just been, like I said, putting it back in buns, freshening my edges, slicking it back, and that's it. Okay, so get off that, any shedding hair. I'm gonna make sure my hair is pretty damp, just not soaked. And I've been using this leave-in conditioner. So it is the Design Essentials, the almond and avocado. Yeah, because I know it's all in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna use about that much, not too much. So I really wanna focus on finding out how this new and improved pink moisturizer likes my hair, works with my hair. So I don't wanna use too much of other things. And now I'm gonna turn on my wide tooth comb. And now it is time to apply. So yeah, like I said, I already noticed that the smell, and that's just because I used it in base hair before I used it in mines. So that's the only reason I know. Like the smell just, it's not the same smell. It's really not, but it worked really well with base hair, so. It's like I can't wait to use it on mines. Okay. It's feeling good. I'm probably use a little bit more. Cause that's another one of my problems. I think I don't use enough product when I do my hair. I'm that type of person. I don't feel like just caking and coating a whole bunch of products on my hair. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just don't. I feel like sometimes it's a waste of products. <clears throat> but I'm going to add a little bit extra with this today. So that is what we're working with right now. And I'm like, okay. Okay, then. Come through. Because it is definitely coming through, y'all. Like, look at those curls. They are there. That definition is there. So, feels really moisturized as well. Go in with my denim brush a little bit. Just a little bit. I always feel like my denim brush is ripping through my hair just because the sound. But it's actually not because I took out some of the teeth in it now before oh yeah all those teeth my hair was not having it okay so that is pretty much it y'all i'm gonna just go ahead and i think i'm gonna end up braiding so plaiting and braiding rather than two strand twists. And I'm gonna do about six, maybe eight. Yeah, I may do eight. And then I'm debating on just wearing it like that and not really caring about the um not really caring about the parts or taking it down doing a braid out. So y'all just stay tuned. 
So I really did end up enjoying using this product. It was really moisturizing. I could just tell the moisture was really locking into my hair and has been locked into my hair even after this video. But um, I also ended up doing a braid out. Yes, y'all, y'all see that in a minute. But I ended up doing the braids. The only thing I can say about the braids is next time, halfway down the braids or definitely towards the end i will do a two strand twist because it was difficult to get the ends loose i didn't even really think about that okay y'all so here is the finished look i guess it's kind of like a fluffy braid out because it's not um in some areas it's not as defined some areas is definitely defined for the most part i would say it turned out pretty good though um, definitely the front, my hair texture in the front is looser than in the back, my curl pattern. So my curl pattern in the front always turns out perfect when I do braid outs, twists outs. It's always my back that kind of just falls flat. <laughs> I don't know what happens with my back in definition. I might be getting some type of good curling cream that definitely holes curls is what I'm thinking because I'm not a fan of gel I don't like doing twist outs and braid outs with gel I just feel like it's too much product build up that's just me um that's really just how I feel but I will let y'all see so hopefully it don't look too crazy I haven't even <laughs> looked at it myself really I checked it out a little bit then I've been back fluffing with it, so I didn't get to check it out after I got done fluffing with it again. But for the most part, it's cute enough to wear. I definitely think tomorrow it's going to be over with. It's not going to have any definition, but um, for the first day, yeah. The main thing was moisturizing that I wanted to review it on its moisturizing and how it made my hair feel overall. So not really even going into the definition part because it's not like it's a curling cream. So it's mostly supposed to do it moisturizing the hair, keeping it moisturized, um, vitamin E, revives damaged hair, protects conditions, all that stuff. I would say for that part, it did everything that it said. I mean, I know it's just the day after, but my hair is so moisturized. I'm trying to let y'all see just the shine in my curls, y'all. Look at that. Like, my hair doesn't have no dry spot in it period no dry spot so i would say it does what it's supposed to do you know if it was a curling cream then i would be more reviewing on the definition but it is not a curling cream so i'm trying to find something like i said to do better with defining my curls where i will want to wear braid out and twist out some more i'm the type of person i just like buns I don't really like wearing my hair out really because I can't find anything to really define my curls. I've been trying. Like I said, I don't like gels. I have this one cream that I may end up using. I haven't used it, I want to say since last year. I'm not too sure. It's probably been a while because it's in my closet in my um, hallway. So it's definitely been a while if it's not in the bathroom. But yeah, I may end up trying that out. But for the most part, I would say this turned out good. This is something that is going to be a staple for me and my hair routine. I would definitely be using it more throughout this year, pretty much all throughout this year until I find a better moisturizer or something that I like better than it. But for right now, I try to stick to the basic and not overdo it with a lot of different products. That's just me. I'm not like the other YouTubers that like to try this product line, this product line, this product line. I just feel that sometimes it has hidden ingredients in that stuff. And I'm not trying to mess with too much, but I do like to try out something every blue moon. So I'm that type of person. Yeah, but I have my staples that are gonna always stick to my routine. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this was helpful to somebody if they've been wanting to try the pink moisturizer or if you've already been using it from back in the day like I said I think this is pretty much still the same benefit wise it's just a different smell a different bottle um design is what I would really say for the most part but I think it's pretty much still the same it seems like it still does good for my hair so yeah 
I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share, sharing is always caring. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.